everybody, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan. Today I have another what I ate in a week video for you guys to show you what I ate in a week. Yes, I know, pretty self-explanatory. So before we get started, I want to remind you to check out The Savage Podcast. This is the podcast that my friend Daniel and I are hosting and we're having so much fun with it. So we want you to join us. We have a YouTube channel where we post video versions of the podcast so you can subscribe to that. But of course, we're on all of those podcast platforms for the audio version. We also have a Patreon account for those of you that are interested in extra content. So we post a bonus episode each month, as well as all episodes earlier than the public. Links for everything will be below. So if you're interested and you need some entertainment and you want to hear us chat about various different topics, don't forget to check us out and follow us on all those platforms. Now let's get started with what I ate in a week. All right, guys, welcome to day one. I'm starting off with black coffee as per usual. I pretty much start off every morning with some water and some black coffee. And of course, I'm using my trusty Harry Potter mug and I am drinking water with lemons because I mean, am I even a YouTuber if I don't drink lemon water? I don't know. Anyways, this morning I was actually filming a recipe video, so I made these delicious chocolate chip pancakes and I topped with some raspberry, what do you even call this? It's just like frozen raspberries that I heated up and then they like broke apart and became this like beautiful topping for the pancakes. So worked out well for me. So yeah, if you guys want the recipe for this, um, for these pancakes, I'll link the recipe video down below. And I mentioned this in the video, but I ran out of maple syrup, which is so sad. Uh, so instead I used agave nectar, but yeah, either way it was super delicious and uh, I definitely want to make these again. All right, lunchtime, I'm having some pasta. I have my ketchup spaghetti. Yes, this recipe is in the same video as the pancakes and trust me, it tastes so much better than it sounds. <laughs> so I'm having some of that deliciousness and then I also have some veggie meatballs on the side. Again, a recipe for that will be in the same video. I'm also having some salad and that's my lunch. And for a quick little snack, I'm having some hummus and baby carrots, what a classic. Okay, so for the first few days of this quarantine, I had so many fresh vegetables. So I was eating salad like every day, of course, as part of a meal, not as the entire meal. Come on, guys. So I'm making myself another salad. I've got some romaine lettuce, some alfalfa sprouts. I had this leftover tofu concoction. I can't remember what was on the tofu. I think it was just like a spicy Korean style tofu. So I'm just throwing that in there because it's left over. I need some protein in there as well. And then guys, guys, I had a Beyond Burger patty in the freezer. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna make myself a Beyond Burger. So for my salad, I'm using this balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Just gonna toss it. Um, if I could be bothered, I do like to actually like toss my salad properly in a nice salad bowl thing so that everything gets like nicely coated. I also had some sun-dried tomatoes so I just threw a few in there in my salad and then let's let's just make the burger guys. Okay, what do you put in your burger? I'm putting vegan mayo. Delicious. Delicious vegan mayo on both sides. We're also going to put ketchup, obviously, lots of ketchup. And I had some sweet relish, sweet relish. Let's let's enunciate. We also have some Dijon mustard, and there you go. It looks ugly, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Adding some lettuce, some red onion. I love red onion in my in my burgers. So delicious. Uh, tomato slices. Wow. I had so much produce at this time. <laughs> I'm also adding, of course, the Beyond Burger patty and let's finish off that burger. Look at that. Delicious. Amazing. Fantastic. So amazing. Okay, so my roommate was having a meltdown, bought a giant bag of uh, ketchup chips and she gave me some. So yay. Thank you, Angela. Okay, so it's day two, but I actually filmed a what I ate in a day video for day two. So we're just going to skip day two and go on to day three, but we're going to call day three day two just for the sake of this video. But just letting you know that, yeah, the second day I was actually filming another video. So I didn't include it in this video. Does it make sense? If you guys are interested, I'll link that video down below so you can watch that. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the day two of this video. 
even though it was day three. So I'm starting off day two by pouring myself a nice little glass of orange juice. And I remember this day because there was a fire alarm situation at six in the morning. So my roommate actually left and went to Starbucks and she was kind enough to get me a coffee as well. A very giant one, a venti, I believe it's called. And then for breakfast, I'm having pasta. Again, same thing as before, some veggie meatballs, some salad. Mm hmm. I know sometimes I have pasta for breakfast. Okay. I like it. Anyways, at uh, lunchtime, I'm making a chickpea salad. So I'm just mashing, mashing. Why does that sound weird to me right now? Mashing some, <laughs> mashing some chickpeas. I'm adding a little bit of vegan mayo, a little bit of Dijon mustard, a little bit of sweet relish. That's going to be my simple chickpea salad. Let's mix that together. I'm throwing in some parsley because why not? I have these tiny little bread pieces that I'm going to toast and then I've got some kale that I've already massaged the day before from the video that I made the day before. And I also of course have some uh, salad dressing from the day before as well. This is the Caesar salad dressing by Edgy Veg and I'm just like very lazily <laughs> trying to mix it into the kale. This is what happens when I don't toss something in, in a mixing bowl. Yeah. Anyways, I've got my tiny pieces of bread. I accidentally bought like really tiny bread and I was not happy about it, but got to eat it anyways. And I'm just going to mash some avocado into the tiny bread. And then let's add some of the chickpea salad on the tiny bread. And we can also add some alfalfa sprouts. Delicious. And I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and then we can call that a sandwich. Yes. It is called a sandwich and that looks pretty legit guys it looks pretty delicious even though my bread is very tiny and then i'm gonna have a nice side of carrots and hummus as well so that completes a very delicious nope that doesn't complete anything because we're not done yet <laughs> uh, can you tell that i really you know i really plan out these voiceovers very well so guys this is a nut loaf that i made out of almond pulp so if you guys remember i did a video where i was making almond milk as well as other non-dairy milks i took that almond pulp and i turned it into a nut loaf i really want to do a recipe on this so hold tight because i think it's a great way to use up the leftover almond pulp and then i'm using the sauce from the meatball recipe uh, which the video is linked below as discussed before but the sauce is really good so I'm using some of that sauce for the for the nut loaf and there's my there's my lunch and then guys I went over to my parents house for two nights and um, I mean I just had to go see Natty look how cute she is I mean she's just adorable so <laughs> Uh, yeah, I went to go and uh, chill there, hang out with Natty, eat some of my mom's yummy food. So, but here's Natty just being adorable. Just so cute. Dinner time. My mom made some delicious kimchi pancakes. There is, of course, kimchi in these pancakes, as well as, I believe, tofu and some flour, and I'm sure a few other things. Super yummy. But the main course, guys, was oh my god i love this so much this is cold soybean noodle soup i know it sounds probably gross to a lot of people okay but this is like a thing it's a big thing in korea people like to eat this during the uh, summer months when it's really hot and so the broth is cold everything is cold and the soup is made of soybeans and oh my god this is amazing i don't know it's it's so good to me, it's very good. It's super refreshing. It's not too crazy flavorful, but it's super creamy and oh, it's so good. I'm pretty sure I talked about this before, but a long time ago, but this is definitely the best. And then here we have a beautiful boomerang shot and a nice little close up. Very sexy. Hello, day three. I forgot to film my breakfast, but this is pretty much what I ate. I had some fruit and I also had some of this Belgian style bread, which was super yummy. My mom made it into like garlic bread. So good. 
And then of course I made myself and my parents some nice coffee. This is actually coffee from the beans that I bought in Israel. It actually has cardamom in it and uh, it's quite nice. And then we've got uh, some lunch. Again, deliciousness that my mom made. We have some rice and then we have this delicious curry. So curry with tofu, lots of vegetables. And of course I have to have a nice side of kimchi because I'm Korean, I know. For dessert, some fruit. We've got some nice oranges. And then we also had a little guac left. So I'm having a little bit of guac. I mean, that's a very sad amount of guac, but still. And for dinner, my mom made this like amazing soup. I don't know how to describe the soup, but it's mainly made of lots and lots of mushrooms. So I'm having that with some rice. This is like very special sticky rice, lots of beans in there, maybe some millet and all kinds of goodness. Anyways, this soup though, there's some rice cakes in there, many different kinds of mushrooms, smoked tofu. Oh my God. It was so good. And then I have some rice with burdock root. Have you guys heard of burdock root? That's another little side dish that my mom made. And um, I just, yeah, everything was just so good. I like to make these little seaweed wraps out of the rice, a little bit of burdock root, a little bit of kimchi, and some roasted seaweed, and then just wrap it up and pop it in the mouth. Guess what guys, I forgot to film my breakfast yet again, I know. Uh, every time I go to my parents' house, I forget to film the breakfast because it's always kind of, you know, not as crazy, but yeah. Anyways, instead of breakfast, I'm gonna show you guys this very cute clip of a nutty, so enjoy that. So for breakfast, what I actually had though was cereal with some almond milk, a little bit of banana into my cereal as well, and I also had half a sweet potato and some oranges. So that was my simple breakfast. And for a snack before my lunch, I had a little bit of the kimchi pancakes that were left over. I also had a couple slices of apple because my parents always keep sliced fruit in a container, so it's very convenient for me to just eat a little bit of fruit. And for lunch, I'm having kind of a poke bowl. So this is very similar to the poke bowl that we sell at our cafe, which unfortunately is closed at the moment. But instead, we're using a kind of vinegary gochujang sauce, which in Korea we call it chogochujang. And um, instead of rice, we actually use noodles. So slightly different, but we still have the vegan tuna that we make out of tomato. It's like marinated and delicious, so good. And then I went back to my home and now I'm having a little snack, uh, baby carrots, hummus, and cucumber. And for dinner, I actually filmed a mukbang video. So we've got two rolls of sushi here, some seaweed salad and some veggie tempura. We've got some sushi with yam tempura and avocado. And then we've got some yam sushi with also uh, avocado and uh, asparagus tempura. Super delicious. If you guys wanna watch the mukbang, I'll link that down below. Welcome to day five. We're gonna make a smoothie. So I've got half a frozen banana, maybe about 75% of a frozen banana. We also have some frozen raspberries, some more frozen fruit. I believe that's like mango or something. It's like a mixed fruit thing. We also have some frozen spinach, bit of non-dairy milk. I'm also gonna add in some goji berries. I've literally had the same package of goji berries sitting in my fridge for about 10 years. So I'm trying to use it. And we also have some hemp seeds, hemp hearts, yes. And some protein powder. And that's it, let's, let's uh, blend it. Just love how disgusting smoothies look sometimes. I mean, just look at that nasty color. Love it, love it. And since I had all those ingredients out, I decided to actually prep some of the dry smoothie ingredients. So I've shown you guys this before in a video, but basically I'm mixing in each container some protein powder, hemp seeds, goji berries, and then anytime I wanna make a smoothie later, I'll just take this out. And as always, of course, I'm making coffee as well. Delicious. For lunch, I'm having some of that leftover nut loaf that I made with the almond pulp. I'm gonna use some barbecue sauce this time. 
and I had just a few pieces of the sushi left over, maybe just like three pieces. And I had some of that seaweed salad left over as well. So this is basically just a tiny lunch of leftovers. <laughs> and let's have some uh, carrots and hummus as per usual. For dinner, I'm having some rice and the meatballs with that sauce. Once again, the recipe is below. This sauce, guys, is made of two ingredients that you won't believe, but it's so good. And uh, yeah, this rice and meatball concoction with kimchi, oh, it was awesome. What a lazy day of eating. This day was so lazy. And for a little dessert, I'm having a little bit of orange juice to begin with. And I also have this delicious vegan popcorn. This is Canadian maple flavor. It's so good. It's from this local company. And we actually sell this popcorn at our cafe. Unfortunately, we're closed, but fortunately, I got to eat it, so... Day six, my friends, rise and shine, my dears, rise and shine. We are having cereal, and yes, I am measuring my cereal. Don't judge me. Uh, cereal is very easy to overdo, I believe. So I'm just having some cereal with some non-dairy milk. I added in some pecans, and there you have it. I also have an orange. Yes, an orange. <laughs> I decided to slice up the oranges, save the other half, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to ration basically, okay? So I'm having one half of the orange and then the other half I'll have another day. And of course, once again, we're gonna, we're gonna drink some coffee. And we're making another salad. We've got romaine lettuce, some parsley, some alfalfa sprouts, some of the leftover Caesar salad dressing, which thickened up a bit, but no problem. Let's just toss it. And then I have some spaghetti. And I believe I made this like vegan meat sauce a while back, but it was sitting in my fridge. So I'm just eating that. I've been having lots of pasta. Uh, I don't know. I've been on this like pasta journey and it's been fantastic. So there is my very typical sort of meal. I've been having this sort of meal quite often during this quarantine. And then I am pouring myself some orange juice. There is Tiger King playing in the background, I know. And then for dinner, I actually filmed a mukbang video with my roommate. So her and I shared this uh, delicious platter of Thai food. It was red curry with tofu. We've got pad thai with no eggs and tofu. And we also have some like delicious sweet cauliflower dish. It was so yummy. Anyways, I'm going to link the mukbang video below as well for you to watch. Welcome to the final day. I have that tiny bread. I know I'm very triggered by this tiny bread. I'm not happy about it. I'm adding some hummus onto my toasted tiny pieces of bread. And I'm also going to slice up some smoked tofu, just a few pieces of smoked tofu to add into my sandwich. And into my sandwich also, I'm going to add some lettuce. And I get a lot of questions regarding where I get my smoked tofu. I usually just buy it in the tofu section of my grocery store. If you can't find it in your regular grocery store, maybe try looking in your health food store. And I'm also going to add some parsley as well into that sandwich. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, Frank's red hot sauce. This was inspired by Edgy Veg because I did a video eating like her and she added hot sauce in her uh, sandwich. So I did that. And there's my hummus, smoked tofu, lettuce, parsley sandwich. And I guess I'm also making some uh, salad with the leftover romaine lettuce and some of that balsamic vinaigrette dressing. I am going to be drinking some coconut water. This is just leftover coconut water that I had in the fridge. So I'm just drinking some of that. Apparently it's great for hydration. Yay, hydration. For lunch, I wanted to make a soba noodle salad because would any what I ate in a week video done by me be complete without a soba noodle dish? So I added some romaine lettuce into a large bowl and now I'm using my julienne peeler to peel some carrots into those lovely thin shapes. And of course, into some boiling water, I'm going to add my soba noodles as well as some frozen shelled edamame beans. And that's just going to cook together. It only takes like four minutes. And once the noodles are done cooking, you can basically drain everything and rinse everything in cold water. So yes, this is another cold noodle dish. So we're just going to throw that into the large mixing bowl. I'm going to add some minced garlic. 
And then I'm adding in a concoction, which is mainly soy sauce with a bit of sweetener and some vinegar. And we're just gonna mix that together. Along with that, I'm also going to add a small splash of mirin, which is a sweet Japanese cooking wine. And we're also going to add in a little bit of toasted sesame oil as usual, and then mix that well. And of course, nothing is complete without adding some toasted sesame seeds on top. And there's my lunch. Super simple, super quick, lots of veggies and delicious. Oh, and of course, I had a side of kimchi as well. If you guys want my mom's vegan kimchi recipe, I'll link that video down below. It is so, so good. And for a little pick-me-up, I'm making some matcha tea. So I'm just adding in a little bit of matcha powder into a mug. And I'm also going to add a little bit of non-dairy milk as well. And then adding some hot water and just mixing that well. Next, let's make a snack. So I'm making a smoothie and I'm making a yogurt smoothie using non-dairy yogurt, of course. I'm using this one by Silk, which is an almond unsweetened yogurt. Not my favorite. I didn't really enjoy this one, uh, but in a smoothie, it's relatively okay. So I'm adding that into a blender along with some chia seeds and some and one date, actually one medjool date for the sweetener. I love adding dates into smoothies. So I'm adding a little bit of water here and half a frozen banana and some raspberries. Also gonna add a couple of cubes of ice and then just blend that well. And I loved the color in this one. Finally, a smoothie that has beautiful color. See, that's what's sad about um, adding greens into your smoothie. The color just is gross, but look how beautiful this color is. But there's no greens in it, unfortunately. Dinner time, let's make some tempeh. So I finally bought just some plain old tempeh. I used to only buy marinated tempeh, already flavored, but this is the first time I'm trying out just plain tempeh. So I'm just slicing the tempeh up into smaller pieces. And tempeh, for those of you guys that don't know, is basically a fermented soybean product. I believe it is less processed than tofu, and it's very healthy for you, great source of vegan protein. And if you marinate it right, it can taste very good. Although I would say it is a it is an acquired taste. So into a pan, I just added a bit of vegetable oil, and then I'm just going to cook up some of the tempeh. I'm not cooking up all of it, but I believe about half is what I'm cooking. So I'm just gonna fry it up until it's nicely golden on the sides. And by the way, I don't know what I'm doing, so maybe I needed to marinate it first. I'm just kind of cooking it the way that I would make tofu. So that's what I'm doing. Anyways, I uh, cook the tempeh, uh, set it aside, and in the same pan, I'm just going to cook up some frozen mixed vegetables. Everyone's best friend right now. I'm adding in some extra green peas because that's what I have. So I'm just gonna cook that up. And I'm gonna add a small amount of vegan butter. I feel like it just gives the mixed vegetables a nice taste. <laughs> You know, like mixed veggies with a little bit of butter. It's a thing, right? I think it's a thing. Anyway, doing that, I'm going to throw in the uh, tempeh, the cooked tempeh. And then we're just going to use some teriyaki sauce. Feeling lazy, guys. Feeling lazy. Using some teriyaki sauce. Store-bought teriyaki sauce. Let's mix that well. Mm -hmm. So I'm just adding a little splash of water as I'm cooking, as I always do whenever I cook stuff <laughs> and I just add a little bit more uh, teriyaki sauce as I'm going so yeah and I'm just adding a little bit of black pepper and also a little bit of salt as well as a bit of garlic powder and this actually turned out to be really good I'm definitely gonna do this again super lazy super simple but really yummy and of course topping everything off with uh, toasted sesame seeds I'm gonna have it with some rice and my roommate made some asparagus and gave me some, so that's my dinner. 
And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this what I ate in a week video. If you guys are interested in more, I'm going to link a playlist down below with all my previous what I ate in a week videos. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out our podcast. All the links will be down below. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.